If you ride dirt bikes and you're trying to build muscle, you probably have a couple of questions. Is it possible to build muscle while riding and training? Will it make my arm pump worse? What happens if I get too big? Let's go through these questions one at a time and break down some of the challenges you'll face along the way. I just wanna be jacked and ride dirt bikes. Number one, is it even possible to build muscle while riding multiple days per week, maybe two or three days per week? Yes, it is, but you probably shouldn't do it how you want to do it. So in a traditional bulk, you're trying to gain as much muscle as possible in 12 to 16 weeks. And I'm talking about trying to gain like between 10 and 15 pounds of muscle. That is some serious muscle mass, and it's borderline impossible unless you're a true beginner or you're on steroids. Here's why I wouldn't recommend doing it like a traditional bulk. Building muscle requires consistent and frequent strength training, and the training has to feel hard. It needs to be intense. You can't just sort of meander through the gym and expect slabs of muscle to just grow from nowhere. This presents problems in itself. When you're constantly training near or at failure in the gym, this makes you super tired and super sore. This will affect your riding. So if you think that you can ride four days a week and lift four days a week with no negative side effects, you're wrong. In order to train hard enough and often enough to build serious muscle, it is 100% going to affect your training. Now the better way, which I recommend, is building smaller amounts of muscle over a longer period of time. You can absolutely lift weights every week as a serious motocross athlete, but maybe you only lift one to two times per week instead of three to four, and you can strategically place those lifting days on lower intensity days at the track or when you know that you have a rest day from riding coming up the next day, giving yourself plenty of time to recover. Yes, this may mean building less muscle in the short term, but in the long term, you'll just keep getting more and more jacked year after year and you won't have to sacrifice your riding performance to do it. Another point why it's tough to do a traditional bulk while riding multiple days per week. Riding also burns a large amount of calories. And in order to build muscle, you have to at least be in a small calorie surplus, meaning you're eating more than you're burning. The more you burn, the more you have to eat to make up for it. And you may think that you're eating just a ton of food, but you're probably not. Put everything you're eating into a calorie tracker like MyFitnessPal, and then we'll see if you're actually eating a lot. So I would also recommend trying to build more muscle in the off season when you don't necessarily have to ride as often, you don't have to eat as much food, and it doesn't really matter if you're super tired and sore from all the lifting. Now, if you guys need help coming up with workouts, check the link in the description below. Sign up for MTF Pro or MTF Lite and get access to the exact same workouts that I give my athletes here at MTF. Now. Will lifting increase my arm pump? I actually asked this question to Joe McGinley. He put on an arm pump seminar at Loretta's. He's the guy that you've seen talking about his cure for arm pump in between the pro motocross rounds or on race day live. He's a super smart guy and he agrees with me on this. There's only one type of training that has a chance to increase your arm pump and it's directly training your forearms for size doing things like wrist curls. And even then, it's only a chance that it increases your arm pump. How? This could cause arm pump because the muscles are bigger, there's less room in the forearm cavity, and it could restrict blood flow even more. Now usually when strength training, we only use our forearms to hold on to the weight that we're lifting. This can actually be a huge positive thing. When you hold on to something heavy for a long period of time, this actually increases your neurological strength. In other words, how well your nerves can activate that muscle and for how long. And it'll also increase your grip strength endurance which is also a positive thing. So as long as you're using your hands simply as hooks that attach the weight to your body, you'll be fine. Now, there is one instance where normal weightlifting can turn into forearm training, and it's when you have bad technique. Take a pull-up, for example. Ideally, with a pull-up, you're pulling from your back, not your hands. Your hands, like I said before, are just hooks that keep you attached to the bar. And even when you get to the top of the pull-up, your hands are still neutral, simply hanging on to the bar. Now, if you have bad pull-up technique, you can turn pull-ups into a form of forearm curl like this. Now, you're directly training the forearms for size. Bad news. Okay, Jacob, that's all good and well, but what happens when I start strength training and I get too big? In case you haven't noticed, here in America at least, we don't have a crisis of people being too muscular, like they just can't stop their muscles from growing. Their muscles just keep getting bigger and bigger, and now they have to hire somebody to just walk around with them through their daily life to do things like take their hat off, or scratch their back, or tie their shoes, because they're just so freaking jacked that they can't reach those parts of their body anymore. No, 
this isn't a problem. Putting on muscle is very hard. If you look at a professional bodybuilder, which is probably what image you have in your mind of being too big, it took them probably the better part of 10 years to get that big. And that's 10 years where their only goal was to get bigger. Their training, their supplements, their diet, their recovery, all aimed at getting as big as possible. I promise you that gaining muscle is not that easy and it doesn't happen by accident. Now, if you're finally convinced that strength training is for you and you're ready to get started, watch this video next. I'll see you there.